Hey friends, it's Beth again from the Children's Place at the Wood County District Public Library. I miss seeing your guys' faces and I hope you're still reading lots and when the weather is nice that you're getting able to spend some time outside. I know just earlier it was snowing. It's April. How crazy is that that it's snowing already? Oh, still, I thought it was spring. That's so funny. Well, with permission of HarperCollins Children's Books, today's story time is going to be Where the Wild Things Are, Story and Pictures by Marie Sendak. The night Max wore his wolf suit and made mischief of one kind... And another. Ah, he looks like he's chasing his poor dog. His mother called him wild thing. And Max said, I'll eat you up. So he was sent to bed without eating anything. Uh oh, he doesn't look too happy. That very night in Max's room, a forest grew. Ooh, could you imagine either waking up or just starting to see trees grow in your room? I think that would be kind of cool. And grew. Uh-oh, look at that little mischievous face on him. <laughs> and grew until his ceiling hung with vines and the walls became the world all around. Wow. And an ocean tumbled by with a private boat for Max, and he sailed off through night and day. Have you guys ever been on a boat before? I have. It didn't have my name on it, though, like this one does. It has Max's name on it. And in and out of weeks, and almost over a year, to where the wild things are. Uh-oh. What is that? I think that's a monster, maybe. Let's see. And when he came to the place where the wild things are, they roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. Till Max said, be still, and tamed them with the magic trick of staring into all their yellow eyes without blinking once. They were frightened and called him the most wild thing of all. And made him king of all wild things. And now, cried Max, let the wild rumpus start. Ooh, it looks like they're dancing around the moon. I wonder if they might howl. Hmm. Let's see. Ooh, they're, they're almost like monkeys. They're swinging from the branches. This would be kind of like if you're at a park and they have a jungle gym. Swinging from the jungle gym bars. Now it looks like they're marching. Now stop, Max said and sent the wild things off to bed without their supper. And Max, the king of all wild things, was lonely and wanted to be where someone loved him best of all. Then, all around, from far away across the world, he smelled good things to eat. So he gave up being king of where the wild things are. I wonder if he smelled his mom cooking something for dinner.
But the wild things cried, Oh, please don't go. We'll eat you up. We love you so. And Max said, No. The wild things roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. But Max stepped into his private boat and waved goodbye. I wonder if Max will ever see where the wild things are. And sailed back over a year and in and out of weeks and through a day. And into the night of his very own room where he found his supper waiting for him. Aw, he looks relieved that he's a finally back home. And it was still hot. The end. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's story time. There is actually a movie that came out about this book. I haven't watched it yet, so maybe you guys would check it out and then let us know if it's as good as the book. I know the books are usually always better because you can't combine everything from the book into the movie, but... Have a good day, guys. Keep reading. We'll see you next time. Bye.